Hi, my name is Steven Mueller from the CCBU Deployment Success Team, and I'd like to give a quick overview of how to use the UCCX command line interface for troubleshooting. Now first some basics that you're probably already familiar with from Call Manager. You log in using the administrator account that you created during the first install. At any point you can use the question mark to see what commands are available to you. And you can use tab to complete. So now let's go some, over some of the issues that you can troubleshoot. The first command that we're going to use um, will get you information that is similar to what's on the app admin page. Show UCCX license. So with this you can see what, what licenses are actually active on the server. The second one, show UCCX CAD license usage. is more useful because it actually shows you what licenses have been used and what um, what desktops are using those licenses so if you're having issues where agents can't log in and you're not sure if it's because all of the licenses are being used up this command will quickly allow you to see um, what ones are in use and who's using that license next let's go over some basic info some of this you may be able to get from other locations, but if you're already at the command line, this is certainly a quick way of getting it. You can see the version on the active and inactive partitions. And the same thing with the JTAPI client. You can also show and set the Axel, JTAPI, and the RMCM provider directly from the command line. Next, let's talk about logging. From the command line interface, you can uh, show and set log trace levels. See, this will show us all of the trace levels that are currently set. And if we use the set UCCX trace enable command, we can specify the component, the subcomponent, and the level. So let's go here with the UCCX engine user manager and let's set xdebugging 1 to true and I can check that with the trace levels command see that that's been set and then I can quickly disable that by changing the enable to disable also if you're already in the command line you can use the file list and file view commands to navigate the logs directories and view the logs directly on the screen. I agree it's still probably easier in many situations to use RTMT and pull the logs off, but if there's a particular thing that you want to look for quickly, this can certainly be helpful. So let's use the file list active log command which will show us the logs that are on the active partition. And from here, we can just navigate through to the UCCX logs. Now if I go back, I can change the file list to file view. Then I can copy one of the MIVR logs. And the nice thing about this, we'll have to give it a few seconds, but it will actually unzip the log for us so we can le read it right on the screen. So there's some commands specified at the bottom on how to navigate through this. And if we're looking for one quick piece of info, this would certainly be faster than than pulling it off and analyzing it elsewhere. Next let's talk about the database. There's a couple very useful database commands that you can use. The first one, utils uccx database force data sync, can be used to copy the entire contents of the database from the remote location and overwrite the local database. So this isn't copying in terms of tables or records, this is copying the entire database. So if for any reason your databases are out of sync or you're rebuilding one of the nodes and you want a copy of the database, you can use this command. I do want to warn you though that this does require a cluster reboot so this is probably something that you should save for off hours. The next command, utils uccx database db server integrity can be useful if there's a corruption in the table and this can happen um, for instance if there's been an improper shutdown, a power outage, etc. and this right here, this config object corrupted this is a message that you'll see in the logs 
um, associated with the error that you found and if you see that you can use this command here and it will take a few minutes to complete longer if you have a large database but it'll run through in the background and check for any corruptions and in the end it will spit out a log file that will show us where we can go and we can review what it found and if it does find a corruption it will automatically um, pull the accurate data from the other node or use a previous config config object that was uh, not corrupted. Finally, let's talk about this uh, sh the show uccx tech commands. There's a number of different show uccx tech commands, but if you use this one, show uccx tech db server all, it will give you uh, actually all of the the show uccx tech commands and output them into a single file. So if you're troubleshooting a, a difficult database issue with Cisco TAC and uh, there's a lot of information that's needed, this may be a helpful command to just grab this diagnostic info and attach it to the case. It grabs database server log message and status info, informix config file, it shows the users transactions locks, has CPU thread info, cache info, and much more information that could be used by a, a database expert to help look at the uh, the issue. And finally, uh, the show tech all command is just good for general system diagnostic info. This has a lot of information in it. Uh, about the system, the hardware, the runtime environment, CPU and memory usage, disk usage, and network info. Thank you for taking the time to listen. If you're interested to learn more about the command line interface or you just want a useful reference document, please see the link below. Thanks and have a nice day.